Hi and welcome to this walkthrough video for Vengeful Viola, a virtual instrument focusing on the aggressive side of the viola. Violas are supposed to be nice, warm and quiet, and this library can do that too, but it also has a lot of heart attacks, high frequencies, and so on. Our violist even took the chin rest off for these recordings to get more brightness and less stereotypical timid violiness. So let's go through the articulations going backwards this time and working our way towards the normal. We have some noises bowing the edge of the body, bowing the tailpiece, and three different percussive strikes on the body. Getting very slightly more normal and playing notes which at least start with a pitch, we have unclean harmonics, like the vengeful cello and vengeful bass, this is where the note starts as a natural harmonic and then slips and disintegrates into screeching. This is one of the sounds you heard at the beginning of the video. There's also natural harmonics. And unlike the bass and cello, artificial harmonics are much more practical to play on the viola and they can get really high. By the way, except for the noises, every articulation can be used either polyphonically or in monophonic mode with simulated legato. Then a couple of articulations we haven't sampled before. Spectral scrubs, a favorite with a few of the beta testers. This is one of those sounds that's really nice with unison turned up. Now, this is a solo instrument, but there's this unison knob which adds two transposed voices for an emulated small section. And my least favorite articulation in the real world to actually play personally, but the violist likes it and asks to record it. Colenio. Whacking the string with the wooden part of the bow. I'd never ask anybody to record this, but hey, if she wants to do it, it sounds good. Then pizzicato. Really scratchy, rough cola. If you put things in legato mode and just kind of mash your hands down on the keyboard, it can get downright aleatoric. Another articulation that all three instruments have sampled is Bouncy Jetta. The unison mode gets really, really interesting here. There is something we introduced with the bass, piccato played with the tip of the bow, which as with the bass sounds almost more like pizzicato with a dirty start. Then normal spiccato. Two types of tremolo, first faster tremolo sul ponticello. And slower, warmer, ordinary tremolo. We recorded both of these with the sort of preparatory swing into the first tremolo note. And there's a control which lets you basically skip that and get straight to the tremolo for when you need that. There are Sultasto shorts, one of my favorite sounds. Editing these I was like, the lower register here sounds like a gritty sigh. A lot of people sample Sultasto longs, but the shorts are awesome too. And we do of course have Sultasto sustains. They are what you'd expect, warm, a little unsteady and with a good amount of bone noise. On the opposite side, in terms of bow placement, we have some sul ponticello stuff. Molto sul ponticello really played right on top of the bridge. There is staccatissimo molto sul ponticello for really, really short screeches. Staccato molto sul ponticello for not quite as short but very screechy screeches. If vengeful cello was named after vengeful spirit from Dota 2 and vengeful bass after vengeful spirit from 40k, then Vengeful Viola can be named after the desire for revenge all violists feel thanks to all the viola jokes out there. You could really hear that in this particular articulation if it were true and not just retroactive continuity I made up long after the recordings were done.
and sustain motor sul ponticello for long lasting enduring screeching which is downright austere Then we finally get to the regular viola stuff. There are fat sustains played higher up the neck on lower strings for a warmer sound. This is a very typical viola thing to do and when I ask the violist at the end of the recording session, hey, what other technique do you want to record that you like to play? This was the one she picked. This is the total opposite of all the Ponticello stuff you just heard a couple of seconds back. This, again, works nicely with the unison turned up. Plus, the fat sustains unison uses transposition in the opposite direction from all the rest of the stuff, so the extra voices add warmth instead of adding brightness. This kind of attention to detail brings you even more fat. There is the ordinary staccato. And finally, ordinary sustains, a little brighter and more lively than you typically get from a viola. Everything was recorded without vibrato, so you can choose how lyrical and expressive you want to get. By the way, in unison mode, each unison voice's vibrato timing and depth is also a little different, and some of this increases with more vibrato humanization and delay. As with vengeful bass, you also get layering instruments, so you can emulate marcato by having staccato followed by a sustain. Or get wilder and crossfade between the sul tasto sustain and the tremolo sul ponticello. Or get really weird and stick jetta endings on pizzicato note starts. With unison, of course. This is magic, the jetta just seems like semi chaotic randomized echoes of the pizzicato. Or crossfade the two types of tremolo with the unison cranked for six desynced voices. Buy Vengeful Viola, Cello and Bass at carorifer.com. If you like them, tell a friend. If you like them and you don't have any friends, tell an enemy. And thanks for watching.